I'm going to do a dragon today for you. This is a airbrush tutorial. And I'm not going to try to explain every single little thing and just let you watch how this process goes. Hopefully you'll get a good view of what's going on. Alright, so I'm going to set up my, my gun, my air compressor. You need a stand to hold your gun on. Try and leave it for a minute without a stand. Very difficult. You can throw it in a bucket, I guess, but you might as well rewash your gun. So I'm putting on the hose right now. If you can see that. Try to bring this in closer. Nope, won't do it. Okay, so we're stuck like that. So my compressor is about forty psi. Sorry, I have to move a few things. I thought I was ready for you. <laughs> I have to turn this a little bit. The angle's not that good. And up. And there goes my water bottle. That's okay. Get yourself an apron or something too. If you're really good and you don't spray on yourself. Good for you, I guarantee. <laughs> I have paint on almost everything I own. Alright, so I just put my reference picture up here. How I put this on here is I found a picture on the internet that I liked. I drew it out, then, or you can print it out, and then you can put it on a um, projector. And you can get those at any art store. And always run water through your gun when you first start out, before you paint. It's, it's a really good idea to show that you cleaned out your gun properly and it's flowing properly. And just to kind of show you what I'm doing here. I push the air. I got nothing coming out. I do have water in there. I pull out the needle a little bit, I get water. So I push the needle back in. I pull back just slightly on the needle, but then I watch how big the spray is coming out of my needle. Now I got a CM, which is Micron, or sorry, MC. Nope, CM. <laughs> you want it so that you get a very fine spray to a very big spray. Well. I'm sure this gun probably does about a two, a, a two, a nozzle two, which means about a two inch spray, I believe. Looks like one inch though. <laughs> so that's too much. So I gotta undo the lock nut and then I just push it in ever so slightly and pull it back a bit. And now it's running exactly the way I want it. So just to show you, So that's air. I'm getting a little bit of spray with it, just a tiny bit. But if I pull back a little bit, I get a very fine spray. If I pull back all the way, which is empty now. So we'll do that again. So nothing's really coming out. And I pull back just a bit, and I get a really fine spray. If I want it finer, I can push the needle back in a little bit more and make it a little bit finer if I want. I don't need it too fine for this for this project I'm doing. It's a t-shirt for my brother. He's been waiting a long time. Get any good fire stencil to start out with. This one is a just a freehand stencil, but my first stencils I ever bought were fire stencils and they got 
beautiful corners, nice points on them, straight edges on them, which is really nice for a variety of uses. So, I'm not quite finished with drawing in the bottom of my cape here, so I'm just going to tackle that a little bit. I want that to come right down, so I'm just going to bring that down, and we're going to blend that in over here. Yes, it jumped a little bit, but we will live. Okay, so you can dump that excess water out. Your gun's running good. You want some airbrush medium or reducer, whatever it is that you're comfortable with using. I suggest you get used to spraying a little bit first before you start any kind of projects. I hope you can hear me. I don't know how well this phone is picking up what I'm saying. So right now I just put some airbrush medium in. That's what it looks like. Yes, it's got lots of paint on it. Um, and now I'm looking for a wicked color and it's a smoke. It is Wicked Jet Black 0031. Yep, that's Jet Black. So I'm just going to start outlining what I have penciled out with the felt pen. Sorry, not pencil, felt pen on here. And I went with black because the dragon's going to be black. Somewhat. I want to add some blue. Well, there's Fatal Blue, and I'm using Golden. I've had these colors for a very long time. Really reliable. They haven't given my gun too many problems. The odd one gets a little too old, and then you got to filter, filter the color so you can keep it longer, or you can just chuck the bottle, whatever you prefer. So I'm going to test on my paper towel first. There. You can see that. It's a black blue. And I've been I saw a friend of mine make a gorilla and he used black blue. So basically I'm just using this stencil, which is my freehand super shield. <laughs> I'm just basically just trying not to overspray on the white. And when you start, try to just do the lines that you have on there already. It doesn't really matter if this is straight right here because I did make it a really crooked, kind of wanted an old wood feel to it. I'm just holding down the trigger and spraying. If I'm going to end it, I'm probably going to just go with a dagger stroke. You know, and it's really reduced, so like I'm getting a lot of color for it being really reduced, but you do want to go slow. And just build that color because you can create lines and shading and highlights and stuff like that which is um, a better way to paint if you want to be more creative rather than just shooting a line so this is the top of the horn here on the wing I want to kind of leave that a little bit into more of a bone color I might start even spraying some circles because I want to have um, where's my there it is, way over there I've got to put down my gun just one second, I'll be right back I want to make some 
um, circles for the dragon skin and the bone, bony parts. You can do V's and you can do um, U's depending on what you want your skin to look like. You can freehand all that. You don't need a stencil for that. That's looking really cool already. <laughs> I want to start with his brow here. suggest you make them perfect circles either because then it's going to look stupid. Let's go with a bigger circle, but let's try to make the circle in there this time. Okay. Bring you up nice and close in a little bit. I just don't feel like moving the gun right now. Now you're going to find sometimes your straight lines are going to get really wavy and it's going to scare you. Just go back over it. It'll blend itself out. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to get closer to the picture, so if I'm in your way, I'm sorry.
part on the back. So like, this is my first real video of a demo. <laughs> and don't forget, you got a beautiful picture here. Look at it, because it's gonna help you. So I want some indents in here. Helps give you that wing flowing ripple. Sometimes you get a little piece of paint on your tip of your gun, you just gotta blow it out. I 
don't think you want them all the same darkness either. I think you just want to shade them in slightly and some stronger and some weaker. And don't worry about spraying over any ones that you made because they're just going to fade away into the background. So. So I also put some irregular ones in there, wish I could zoom in, um, so you could see that it's not such a stencil type, type look, I guess you could say. And don't forget, you're going to want to put a skin color over this too, but it really looks cool. Now I'm just going to put the outline on there. So maybe I'll bring you in a little closer to see what I've done. I know it looks kind of childish right now, but wait till it's done. It'll look awesome. There is no getting bigger. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, we're at 24 minutes. I need a little more blue. That black is pretty strong. So here I'm going to probably don't want to have any overspray, so I'll just put that guy up there.
Alrighty, so we're going back in with the holes. Just be patient with yourself and learning takes time and I'm I'm just a learner too basically. I just try to I just try to make what I see. And if I don't, I just try again. It's really depressing though <laughs> when you screw up. And the way, reason I freehand some of these is because I want them to be different shapes than the ones that were on there that I do with the stencil or whatever you want to call it. Now. Now you can go in and you can tape this. You can make it so that you got your straight lines and everything, but you're not learning anything by doing that. You have to freehand to really learn how to correct your mistakes. It's not easy, I'm not gonna say it is easy, but it's the best way to learn. With that, sometimes I can get Sometimes these squiggly lines too, they make the picture look better because it's more pretty.
Okay, I just stopped the film a little bit to, you don't want to waste <laughs> sitting here watching every little dot. So, you can see, I'll bring it in closer in a little bit. Um, I just filled in more dots and made the wings have some veins. Um, yeah, some of my lines are a little messy, but that's okay. I'm going to fix that. Okay, so I'm just working on the dots right now. And don't forget to put in erratic ones, because, my God, who all has the same spots? Ah! Not me. together really nicely. Okay. I'm gonna work on his mouth a little bit here. So right down here, I'm going to make the scales. Yeah, I'm just going to put them in freehand. But we're going to start with his stomach and neck. reducer in here. It's almost like 50-50 and it's still going on pretty dark. Okay, well, I'll finish this up and I'll pause this for a minute. Okay, so I <clears throat> finished up the scales here. I'm going to have to re-go re over them because they're kind of sloppy. And as you can tell, I've been going over the wings and going over the wings. It's been getting better and the clarity's getting better. And I can touch a few of these things up with some white and... 
dissipate them a little bit more. Won't totally get them to go away, but you know what? I haven't, I've been airbrushing for a long time, but I really haven't had a teacher. I'm self-taught and it's something I wanted to do all my life. One of the things I wanted to do was be um, an automotive artist that does murals. You know, it, it was a dream of my whole life and um, just, it wasn't possible back in the day for a woman to do that because we got denied those sort of programs in school and secondary schools too. Just rinsing out the gun. Just with some water. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my gun. I'm gonna finish up the face a bit. And I think I'm going to call it a night for this. So if I tend to do any more, I'm going to make part two video within a day or two, probably. Probably tomorrow. That's really blue. Dump some of that out because it's harder to... with it too much. And let's see my paper towel. And that's my blue if you can see it. It's got a little black in there. Spreads there. Okay. Some more. A little bit more bubbles. got a really sharp line and you really just want to fade that out a little bit. spraying out black now. That's because it didn't mix with the blue. <laughs> That's okay. Nothing's ever one color anyways.
sometimes I find holding my gun with two hands makes me shake more, and I don't know why, but it just does. Okay, well, this is it for the evening. I'll let you take a look here. Gun automatically in water. If you do want, you want to have that dry out. So... Is what it looks like. Still needs some work. But bye for now. This is my first baby. It starts off ugly and it gets better. That's all I can say. Okay, wait for video two.